Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zakaria the Ghost. I was watching episode 25 of The Wife and there is nothing much to write home about on this episode. You know, there are just a few things which are a great setup for the next episode. But one thing that I want to talk about is Zandile's father, simply because of it's been revealed on this episode that he's been faking his sickness all this time. You know, he's been faking that he is sick, he cannot walk, that's the reason why he's on a wheelchair, and he needs a new set of lungs. You know, it was all a lie, simply because of we have seen him walking with his feet, and he was also making a phone call, talking to somebody, and telling that person that I want my daughter, you know, to pay for what she did. And he was even saying, they are not even suspecting anything, and I want to leave them penniless. That means he just wants to make sure that by the time he leaves that house, you know, they are broke. And it is so sad simply because of the speech that he was giving at the wedding, you know, was also fake. Because he was like saying, I'm blessing you so that you can have more money, you can have more children, you know. And he was even apologizing to the Zulu brothers for disrespecting them. But this is the guy who we see now showing out his true colors you know and we thought you know that entrance on that episode whereby he showed up like a godfather you know it was him but that's fake because even the brothers they were like acting like he is a dawn knowing exactly that he is just nothing you know and it hurts or it's just disappointing simply because of we thought maybe we are going to see something better you know, we are going to see Zandile, you know, getting along with her only parent, which is there. Since we know that, you know, she was involved, you know, when Ngozana was killing her mom. You know, it was going to be a good, good story. But now when he apologized to them, he is still their enemy. Mm, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And also on this episode, we have seen that the Majola brothers are planning to attack the Zulu brothers. And they want to kill Zam, uh, um, Sambulo. And they find out that it's going to be difficult because they cannot do it at the taxi rank. And even if they hire the hitmen, hitmen do talk. And if they talk, that means it will get back to them. So they were planning to kidnap Promo so that, you know, the Zulu brothers will be searching everywhere and they will walk straight to their trap. And when they see that the Zulu brothers, they are exactly where they want them. That's why they will strike and they will kill them all. Because they just want to get rid of all the Zulu brothers. And we all know that they always lose against the Zulu brothers. Because when they were sitting down, they were like saying, you know, the Zulu brothers took everything. And they even took their, you know, taxi route. That means money is becoming tight right now. They don't get money like they used to. And they were also mentioning the fact that their father worked very hard so that the Majola say name can be respected. But the Zulu brothers, what they're doing right now, they're disrespecting them and they're not happy about that. So they're planning, you know, to attack the Zulu brothers. You know, the episode was not that powerful. But one thing that I can mention is that they started the episode by showing us, you know, the surprise that Mkele and Ngosana has been planning for their wives and they wanted to buy them brand new mercedes benz and they've shown us you know shomo and zandile walking outside whereby you know both their husbands were closing their eyes and telling them that it's a surprise you know keep walking forward keep walking forward you know and when they open you know their wife's eyes and that's when they saw brand new cars you know they were super excited and I also saw Chromo making sure that Nzika will go to the passenger seat while Zandile was driving with Mkodri. And Mkele said, you can go and buy meat, you know, go and have fun. Because Zandile wanted to go to Mandisa's house so that she can show Mandisa the brand new car. You know, and that scene was so good because Zandile ended up calling Mandisa to congratulate Mandisa for her new car not knowing that Ngoba was not even involved into you know the surprise plans because Ngoba was busy there making sure that you know the tavern runs as usual and he didn't have that money to go and buy the Mercedes-Benz for Mandisa 
And that's when Mandisa showed up saying, guess what? I just received a phone call from Zandile and she is telling me that, you know, Shomo and Zandile were surprised with brand new cars. So where is my Mercedes Benz? That scene, man, was just something else because now Noba has to say, look, I have nothing. I don't have that kind of money and I don't even know about the surprise. Simply because of the only thing I have is the tavern. I used to be, you know, the taxi association boss. There used to be money filled in the buckets. And where is that money? That money is gone. And you are notoriously known for burning money. You burn 80 million. And if you didn't burn that money, maybe we were going to do something with that money. Maybe you were also going to get a Mercedes Benz. But now because of your burn 80 million, actually, where will I get that money? And that scene was just powerful because Noba had to be honest. And he has to, you know, tell her the truth of saying, look, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that I look after you. I give you everything you need. But I cannot afford to buy the brand new Mercedes Benz for you now. You know, he was honest. Mandisa was disappointed, but she knows that's the truth. There was a scene that everybody was talking about in the introduction of Naleri on this episode. Naleri and Kawe, you know, they met at the parking space. And they started, you know, going back and forth because of they were fighting for a parking slot. You know, Naleri was there, she wanted to park, but, you know, Kawe parked there before her. And, you know, Naleri was not happy about it. She was like saying, are you stupid? Don't you see that I was waiting to go to that parking slot? And Kawe was like saying, the parking doesn't have your name. So you cannot say this is your parking. They have to go back and forth. And Kawe was like saying, if you want some driving lessons, you are welcome. You know, I'll give you driving lessons. But by, for now, you know, have a nice day. And he just walked away. And she thought maybe she can do something to get his attention by parking a car in front of, you know, his car. So that when he comes back, he will find out that he has nowhere to go simply because of, you know, she is blocking or his way. And that scene didn't end well simply because of now. Kawe Kawe, he had to go and speak with the securities and he told the securities to clamp the car so that she, she will also be stuck. She cannot go anywhere. And we have seen that, but when the, she showed up and she was like saying, you see now, next time when you try to bully someone, make sure that you select, you know, your, your victims. And Kawa was like saying, you know, the funny thing is that we are both going nowhere, simply because of, and he looked down there. When she looked, she find out that, you know, her car was clamped. And of course, she asked the security guards to unclaim the car, but they said it will be 350. She didn't have money. And she said, let me go back to the ATM and withdraw cash. That's when Kao was like saying, I've been waiting here and I cannot wait any longer. You know, and he made sure that he took out money from the bag. And of course, when you see that money, you know, you can tell the way she was looking at him and she understood that this guy is one of those guys. And she was like saying, look, I don't want favors from you. I can pay for this. And the guy was like saying, I cannot wait any more longer. You know, let me pay. He gave them, you know, 400 rand and he told them that they will take 50 rand, you know, for a tip. They can buy cold rent with it. And she was frustrated, of course. He was like saying, you know, you will teach me how to speak your language. And that's when she drove away. It was a great scene, but I felt like maybe they should have, you know, introduced her differently. But anyway, it worked. And we also see, saw that Zandile and Gosana had a conversation whereby Gosana was telling Zandile that, you know what, I don't believe your father's story. I think he is just lying about what he is telling us. You know, all of a sudden he just fell sick, went to the hospital, and now he cannot even walk. You know, and Zandile was like saying, but I think he has no reason to lie. You know, he is my father after all. We have to try to help him. Because he need, you know, a new set of labs. And we have seen that also, there was the other scene which was great, whereby we have seen Nomusa, you know, calling Gosana, talking with Gosana, and you can tell that she's super excited. She is smiling. Remember, the last time they were together, Gosana kissed her. 
of course it's lonely in there she is just in a cell and of course when she sees someone who has that dignity like Ngozana kissing her of course you know she will feel you know some type of a way like you know what maybe i stand a chance because the way she was smiling talking to Ngozana, she was like saying i hope i'm not you know disturbing you i just wanted to tell you that you know my son is getting better and the doctors are saying he's going to live a long life you know a healthy life now he will be like other kids he will play with other kids and do things that kids do you know and Gosana was so happy and she was thanking Gosana for what you know he did and Gosana was saying what we did for you is nothing compared to what you are doing for us you know because what you are doing is something you know big we cannot thank you enough you know Episode 25 was a great episode, guys. Join me when I talk about episode 26. Because, you know, I think on this episode, it was just a great, you know, build up for what to expect on the next upcoming episode, episode 26 and 27. And I appreciate you guys for your love and support. Thank you.